Why are ledges closed? We looked at last time, there's a difference between balancing and closing ledges, and we learned that revenues and expense accounts will be closed at the end of the period. So the reason why that is, it's a common question you get asked in year 12 accounting, and there's two reasons. So that we're gonna close revenues and expenses because one, firstly, it helps us calculate net profit for this period. So looking at that sales ledger, we can see that sales were 53,000, that'll help us calculate our profit. And two, it resets the balance to zero so net profit for next period can be determined. So you can see for next period, there's a nice blank sales ledger there. So the accounting system so far is we've been doing transactions into special journals, putting that into the general ledger, making a trial balance, and then doing a balance sheet and an income statement. Closing is required basically for this last step. We're going to prepare an income statement by closing all revenues and expenses. So what qualitative characteristics and accounting principles tell us to do this? Well, one is relevance. So relevance says that the revenues and expenses for 2015, for example, are not relevant to 2016's profit. So looking at the sales ledger, it says that sales was $70,000 in 2015. That's not relevant to 2016. We shouldn't carry that forward. What we should do instead is close it down and reset the balance back to zero. And that way we've got a nice fresh uh, blank sales ledger for 2016. That'll help us calculate an accurate profit for 2016. And therefore we can make better decisions, which is the uh, crux of relevance. An accounting principle that tells us to do this is the reporting period principle. So we're breaking the life of the business into periods of equal length. And then at the end of that period, we're matching revenues and expenses. So looking at 2015, we've got one revenue of sales of 70,000, one expense of wages of 30. So what we need to do is not carry those forward into 2016. I'd like to know what was my profit in 2015. And that's called matching, where we match revenues against expenses. So that's incorrect. We'll drag it back. We'll close them down and that way we can determine whether our, our profit in this case was $40,000. And that leaves for 2016, two blank ledgers and we can now uh, calculate our profit for that period by matching 2016 revenues with 2016 expenses. So a summary of balancing and closing. So balancing, uh, the ledger balances at the end of the period, they actually carry forward into next period. The accounts we do that for are assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. And the qualitative characteristic or accounting principle that tells us to do that is the going concern principle. We'll assume the business will exist forever, so we'll carry the, those balances forward. Closing's a bit different. Instead of carrying forward balances in the next period, we reset them to zero. We're gonna do that for revenues and expenses. And the theory that tells us to do that is relevance and reporting period.